Hey guys, I'm Miss B, and today I'm reading After the Dinosaurs, Mammoths and Fossil Mammals by Charlotte Lewis Brown, pictures by Phil Wilson. Long, long ago, dinosaurs lived everywhere, but they were not alone. Small, furry animals called mammals lived with the dinosaurs. The mammals were different from the dinosaurs. The mammals were very small. Instead of scaly skin, the mammals had hair. Mother mammals fed their babies milk. Mother dinosaurs did not. Dinosaurs and mammals lived together for millions of years. The dinosaurs grew bigger and bigger, but the mammals stayed small. When the dinosaurs died, the mammals survived. Millions of years passed, the mammals grew larger. Some of these mammals looked like animals alive today, and some of these mammals looked very strange. Woolly mammoth. You say it like this, woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths looked like hairy elephants. They lived where it was very cold. They used their big tusks to dig under the snow to get grass to eat. Sometimes mammoths froze to death under the snow. In very cold places, such as Alaska, people sometimes find mammoths still frozen today. Smile it on. You say it like this, smile odon. Smile odon is also called a saber-toothed tiger. Its teeth were as sharp as knives and longer than your hand. It ate meat. It hid until an animal came close. Then it jumped on the animal and ate it. Gliptodon. You say it like this, gliptodon. Gliptodon was the size of a small car. It was covered with bony skin from head to tail. Some Glyptodons had a bony club at the end of their tails. They were not fast, but they never had to run away from anything. Basilosaurus. You say it like this. Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus was an early whale. It looked a little like a sea serpent. It had a long, thin body and lots of sharp teeth. It ate fish. Platybelodon. You say it like this, platybelodon. Platybelodon was as big as an elephant. Its front teeth were as big as shovels. They were shaped like shovels too. Platybelodon dug up plants to eat with its shovel-like teeth. Hyracotherium. You say it like this, hyracotherium. Hyracotherium was the ancestor of all horses but it was much smaller than the horses of today. It was the size of a small dog. It was too small to run fast. It was too small to protect itself. It had to hide so it didn't get eaten. Andrew Sarkis. You say it like this, Andrew Sarkis. Andrew Sarkis had jaws that were longer than your arm. It had lots of strong teeth. Andrew Sarkis ate other animals. It ate all the meat, then it crushed the bones and it ate them too. Megatherium, you say it like this, Megatherium. Megatherium looked like a bear with a big fat tail and very long claws, but it was much, much bigger than any bear. Megatherium was as tall as the treetops when it stood on its back legs. It ripped down high branches to eat the leaves. Macrokenia, you say it like this, Macrokenia. Macrokenia looked like three animals mixed together. It had a body like a camel. It had feet like a rhinoceros. It had a short trunk like an elephant. All of this put together made one strange beast. Indricotherium. You say it like this. Indricotherium. Indricotherium was the largest land mammal ever. It weighed more than four elephants put together. If a Dricotherium was still alive today, it could peek into a second story window without stretching. Now that is really big. Homo sapien. You say it like this, Homo sapien. Homo sapiens is another way to say people. Early people gathered plants and hunted animals to eat. Sometimes they painted the animals they hunted on the walls of caves. We can still see these paintings today. Now people live all over the earth. 
But the other mammals in this book are gone. They died long ago. Sometimes when they died, their bones were preserved. These bones are called fossils. Scientists study fossil bones to learn about ancient mammals and other prehistoric animals. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about all the prehistoric animals with me. Later, gators. Learn, grow, and let the stories flow. Like and subscribe.